Power does what it wants. Power does what it wants. Power does what it wants. How you doing, sir? Good. Sarge? Yes, sir. How can I help you? Good. Um, well, the reason I came by was a couple weeks ago, I had seen a video where a gentleman journalist was at the St. Cloud Post Office. And uh, okay. they had they had called uh, St. Cloud Police, and yes, they come over and they had, uh, had t told him he had to leave the property. Okay. Now the the issue is is that um, I've requested the agreement here with the St. Cloud Police. Okay. There has to be per federal law an agreement with the local police and the local postmaster for the local uh, police to enforce any kind of law on federal property there. Okay. Um, so I requested that, and that, that that's missing there. Um, What's missing? The federal agreement? Yeah, the agreement between the post office and the, the police department. Now, okay. it, uh, federal law, it's 39 CFR 32.1 okay. uh, for the enforcement of laws on the property. It states that um, if, if a law is broken, a disturbance, um, trespassing, something mm -hmm. of that nature, then they are the post office is supposed to inform the federal postal uh, okay. police. Um, unless there's an agreement between the local okay. and that sort of thing. So um, I plan on going over to the post office That's what I was today. about to ask you. Have you went over there and I asked them about it? I have not, but I, I'm, I'm fixing to go over there now. I okay. just wanted to talk with you folks beforehand and let you know that absent an agreement, it's a, it's a actually against federal law to, to enforce any of the laws over there. They'd have to call the federal police, the postal okay. inspectors. Now, I've already talked to the postal inspectors. I do post offices all over the country, okay. so I know like him going in there was perfectly legal, just okay. like me going in there would be perfectly so legal. So you understand that we we don't show we show up unless we get called. So, and, no, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. And and and, and, um, and that's fine, um, as long as you notify them. Hey, we don't have an agreement here with you to enforce a, a trespass law. They'd have to call the federal police or the postal inspector okay. or somebody. Well, that this is what I'll do for you. I'll let my administration know. Okay. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Well, thank okay. you, Sarge. Yeah, right. no, absolutely. Right. I just wanted to let safe, you guys okay. know because I yes, will sir. be over there. They might call, and I just okay. I wanted to nip right. it in the bud. Yes, sir. All, All right. right, I appreciate it. Okay, you be safe over there, right? Thank you, sir. crime has to be committed if she wants to trespass it's her i was never told right. well I, I was never told to leave right okay so i stepped out on my own so there's no trespass they, they, they have to tell me to leave and then i have to leave in order to be trespassed right? right well you're still on the property well they don't have to tell you i'm telling you now get your trespass from the property okay it's gonna be for a period of one year right. well i'm never coming back here this okay, is a fine. this is a terrible service right here okay this is going to be exposed on the internet
recording something? Yeah, are you recording? Yeah. Alright, just make I sure you don't patch me in there, please. Yeah, I'll just pick it up. I yeah. wouldn't go in there then. They've got like 10 cameras. That's yeah, okay. But that's, but that's them. This is the, that's we don't know what you're going to use that camera. for. It's kind of weird. We're, right. I'm part of the, the news media. Uh, well, I, would, I don't care. I don't want to be on camera. The media is on live okay. anyway. Yeah. Alright. Just please respect my wishes. Okay. I don't usually talk to strangers while I'm working, I'm sorry. Them? Yeah. That's, that's very strange. And I can call the police. Like, this is not okay. Go ahead. You, you, you can't be doing this. Okay. And I would prefer you to be in front of me, not behind me. This is ridiculous. Okay. Okay. Can I help you with anything, sir? Uh, no, sir. You're fine. Thank you. Excuse me? What was the problem, sir? I didn't have a problem. Okay. Is there a reason why you're recording? I'm a journalist. Okay. In reference to what, sir? Sir, what are you recording? Have you requested permission from the postmaster, sir? I got permission right here. Yeah. It's federal law. Yeah, but what's the purpose of your recording? It doesn't say I have to give you one. Okay. It just says photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, and auditorium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what's the purpose of you? What's the purpose? You have to have a purpose. Yeah, I'm a journalist. I'm doing an investigative story. An investigative on what, sir? The post office. In what regard, sir? I, I don't have to answer those questions. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside. Okay. Please step outside, sir. You've asked me. Yeah. I'm asking you to step outside. This is the service line. I gotta get a service. If you're not I'm getting gonna, any service, I'm gonna get are you buying postage stamps? Or yes, I am. Thank okay. you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.
Okay. Okay. It's going to be on Rogue Nation Audits. I'm sorry? Rogue Nation Audits. That's, oh, that's, that's where you can sound like legitimate. Yep, that's where you'll find it. And you can go to jail for what you're doing. Okay. You're invading people's privacy. Sure. Nation Yep, we, we have this crazy expectation of privacy in public now. Thank you. I'm a journalist. I already let him know. I also pointed out federal law, which is right behind his head on the wall right mm -hmm. there, that allows me to do this. Okay. I also stopped by your department about three minutes ago and talked to the sergeant on duty. Who, you remember who that was? No. Do, do you have your ID on it so I just run you real quick? No, I don't give my ID. You don't give your ID? No. So no. Who, who's the sergeant you talked to over there, though? It's whatever sergeant was at the station. How, how long ago was it? Like 30 minutes ago. Literally oh, so it's uh, Sergeant Gilbert. I, I guess. Anyway, okay. I then told him that I was on my way over here a couple weeks ago. They kicked out a, uh, they kicked out a journalist, an independent journalist, sort of like me. That's why he was saying he'd had this issue here before. So, on the on the wall there, it's uh, federal law. It's thirty nine CFR. I mean, you can quote all the laws you need to quote. I mean, I'm not up to post okay. office laws. So. Okay. Well, no, so. and, I, and I talked to the sergeant about it. Right on there, it uh -huh. says enforcement, because this is federal property. Okay. Okay. So for St. Cloud to be able to come here and enforce a law, it says right there, federal law, they need an agreement, the local sheriff, the local uh, Like they enforce Cloud. what law? Have you... A any law on federal property. It's right there. Sir, he's been reporting this in yeah. and I would like that to leave that deleted. Okay. Yeah, we're doing... Yeah. Okay, thank you. thank you. Yeah, we'll deal with it. If thank you. Have a good one. So, the sergeant's on his way over to talk to you again. Okay, All that's right? fine. Yeah, if you want, I'll point it right out for you if you'd like. No, 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 I'll go over and look at it when he yeah. gets here and stuff like that. But, uh, okay. I mean, it, in the event they want you trespassing here, they can trespass you from here. I would ask him to call the postal inspector first because, again, I do this all over the country mm -hmm. at post offices all over the country. Okay. I, and, again, I've, I've also, again, you would be breaking federal law. Okay. To, to trespass me off here. They have to call the federal police. It says okay. right on the federal law. All right. Okay, for enforcement. So as soon as my sergeant gets here, he'll talk to you and advise everything, okay? Sure. <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, if he Next calls please. Postal Inspector Chris Martin Next. out of mm -hmm, Jacksonville, he'll, I mean, they, he'll, he'll clear it yeah, right they, up. They probably have an inspector for each region. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. So, I mean, yeah, absolutely. No for me to call. Yeah, yes, if he calls his, his inspector for this region, they'll tell him. So would you go to the uh, police station for To let him know that I was coming oh, over here. Over there, let him know. Okay. And, and that any enforcement would be breaking federal law. Okay. No. So well, this is what we'll do. When Sergeant Gilbert, that's who you spoke to. That's the only Sergeant we got on duty right now. Yeah. When he gets here, we'll, we'll, you know. Sure. All right. Yeah. What is your first name, though? Um, I go by Captain Awesome. Captain Awesome? Yeah. There's my media pass. It's I'm independent, so I make my own. Uh, next. But there's all, that's the only one. Did you, you show Sergeant see. Gilbert this? Uh, no. Zero one. He didn't ask, so. Zero one. Two, okay. 
Is this through some company you're doing this with? Or is it just bang, I mean, bang, bolt action news group. That's what the bang on the back means. Okay. Bolt action news group. But I also do a couple of independent you're doing channels something myself. Wrong right now, right? Is this right? Oh, that—that's <laughs> actually from what is the. This? Uh, that's the uh, the card from the district attorney of Thomasville, Georgia. Okay. When I was up there, I saw that and I got it. So, th again, this is the only press pass that you will find that is endorsed and paid for by We the People because all of those are public pamphlets that okay. have been paid for with tax dollars. So, it's pretty nice. I never miss an opportunity to show that off. Let me go out and talk to these guys real quick. Yeah, go ahead. not vague under enforcement yeah. no problem, sir. enforcement's the bottom right Gives us permission. I, I go through this. I go. I go. Like I said, I go all over the country and do this. So a lot of times they they either haven't read the federal law there or they misinterpret it. Now I'll to tell you an easy way. No, I just came in with a video camera. Some people don't like it, so they're like, "That's not my way." Right. You understand why they wouldn't like it? You wouldn't want to be videotaped. Also, I'm, right? I'm videotaped everywhere I go. We're videotaped 40 to 70 times per really? day, every day. Oh yeah, okay. American. Why, why, why do you videotape? I'm a journalist, so I'm, I'm actually out here doing an investigative piece. Remember, I told you there was another investigator that was kicked out of here a couple weeks ago. Right now, and, and I can show you an easy way to interpret this on, on that news surface. Okay, okay. It says other photographs may be taken only with the postmaster permission. Now, logically, it doesn't say all photos need the postmaster permission. It says other photographs. So that means there are photographs we've already been given permission for. What are those photographs? Photographs for news, 
purposes and the foyers, lobbies, corridors, and auditoriums. I've talked with postal inspectors, I've talked with consumer services. So if the postmaster tells you you can't be here, it, it, it doesn't matter. Federal law has already granted me that permission. Now, if I'm causing a disturbance, right. so then, that's, they, then that's they, why we're here, is because well, he says you were making some customers mad, so that's causing a disturbance to him. That's why he's calling us. Well, so listen, yeah, exercising my right, just like if I was concealed carrying. Press. I understand what you're saying. Okay, so that cannot be considered me agitating them, exercising my rights. <laughs> I mean, there's just no way it can be looked at like that. So when it comes to a Florida uh, federal law, because mm -hmm. we, we, we do state law. So right. That's something that we don't enforce, as you can tell. Right. But when it comes to state law, if someone tells us that's the owner, of the, not the owner, but the, the boss of the premises, and right. we want them to be Authorized to representatives, absolutely. Right. You would have to be removed. Absolutely. And, so, and, 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 and the difference between private and public is that public is owned by all of us. So you can't just roll up to the park and see some guy sitting on a bench and trespassing. I can't He's actually a representative. You, you actually have Correct. to be breaking the law. You can't just roll up and start trespassing people. From the city parks? Right. If if you if, if there's a reason. If there's a reason why you need to trespass you. Then right. Trespass. right. So our reason for us is if the postmaster calls us and says he wants to, to, to leave, mm -hmm. we have to enforce that. You understand what I'm saying? If, if there's a reason to enforce it, like... Well, if he's saying that you're causing a disturbance or you're doing something, that's his reason to get you trespassed. Okay. You, you, you understand that? Okay, I, I do understand what you're saying, but technically, legally, what he's doing, this is a constitutionally protected activity. You said right to free press, so you understand, I understand that. that. So me coming in here quietly and, and, and just doing my business like any other citizen, and if somebody gets mad because I'm recording them, that is not on me. I'm not okay. creating the disturbance. No, I understand. Okay, so even if he misconstrues what's going on, I'm still not creating a disturbance. I understand that also. Okay. But you understand where we're coming from. If someone calls us who is in charge of the building and wants you removed, that's our job to do what they're requesting. Ab absolutely. If, if, if you guys are allowed to enforce it. But it says right there that you guys can't enforce it without an agreement. Right now, I'm, I'm contacting the postal inspector. He tells me he wants you gone. We have yeah. Been. Okay. No, that's okay. perfect. Yeah. That's, 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 what, what we're, that's what we're waiting for. That's what he should have done okay. before he called you guys well, and wasted well, the here's, resources. Here, well, here's the problem. Is, is he's in charge. Mm -hmm. the, post, the postmaster for whatever he couldn't get hold of, so we're going to reach out to another one. Okay? Okay. If the postmaster says you can stay here, we'll leave you alone. Yeah. Of course, yeah. if they say postal you got to go, you got to go. But what I'm going to do in the future... Just kind of let me know. Right. Right. He seems like he's pretty level headed. He wouldn't, he wouldn't have a problem with it. Right, just, just give him a heads up. We're doing so, investigative pieces. And you don't want them to know. Right. But then this is what it causes. Right. And, 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 right. and then we have that little pushback and that little yeah, grind. We don't want that. We don't want that. Well, I, we I, want I, you to exercise your, your, your I, I, right I don't, free press. I, I understand that. Yeah, and I don't want that either. But I also don't want to be harassed. You know, I, if, I, I if I'm concealed carrying, I don't expect hmm. to be, you know, walking in the park and getting harassed because somebody sees me concealed carrying. Well, maybe There's a I, difference between. Yeah, I, I, I use that that's a because, bad analogy. Right. Well, because we don't open carry. Yes, sir. But in an open carry state, if I'm open carrying, I don't want people calling the cops on me because I'm walking down the road exercising my rights well, because they're people, nervous or. But that's what it is. Or I'm, because you, you know, know how time causing it is. Disturbance. I mean, anybody's going to shoot anybody. They don't know you from anybody. All right. You understand? Right. So they don't know that you're, you're harmless. Right. And and, 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 I, and I tell people, and as soon as he walked up to me, I told him, I said, listen, I said, Federal law allows me to take pictures in the foyers and lobbies. I understand. And, and I told him I, I do this all the time. It's right there on the wall. Okay. Right? I, I, so yeah. what he's doing is the postmaster says you can stay. We're going to leave you alone. Okay. If they say you got to go. You gotta. That's fine. Okay. So, um, I will need where, names. Where do, you, do you go around? Like, I, I've been all over the state of Florida. You I've been states or you just Indiana, stay? Illinois. Um, I was up in Indianapolis, Fort Wayne, so and Gary. Yeah. Oh, Gary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did the Gary Police Department. That yeah. place is a shithole. Well, that's a bad name. That's right there. Oh my Chicago. god. Oh yeah. Oh no. The whole area is crazy. I grew up out out there, but um, in Gary. Oh yeah. Yeah, I grew up off Burr Street in Gary. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. My, my family from Muncie is there. So. Is it? Yeah. My wife's family's from uh, Fort Wayne. Oh, okay. Yeah, just north of Fort Wayne. Do you know their family? I don't watch football, but my aunt, she she's an alumni, so yeah. she's a from Notre Dame. Yeah. Yeah. Free tickets or what? Uh, I mean, she might, but I, I don't watch sports, so I don't. I don't know. She's kind of old now, so, so she must be really smart. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She married my uncle. My uncle was a um, 
manager at the uh, Amico Oil Refinery up there in Whiting for years and years. So. A lot of Chrysler places up in there too. Yeah. But they got shut down. A lot of them got shut down. Oh, a lot of steel mills, I yeah. think. Seven of the ten steel mills end up getting shut down up there. That's why the place is a chittle. Yeah. Yeah. Classes, man. They only see freedom, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, like you said, we didn't really do so yeah, yeah, no. Things to do. Yeah, no, absolutely. To do with this, but like I told you before, remember I told you, if you get called, we got to show up. No, absolutely. And, and you know what it is? Sometimes I have problems, and other times I don't. Sometimes I walk in, I sit around for a couple minutes, nobody says nothing, I leave. Other times they, I walk in, they say something, I point out the law, they read it, they go back to doing their job. Other, you know, other mm -hmm. times, I'd say about a third of the time, they get upset, they call the police, and oh, then yeah, the police yeah. come out. But I, I, get, I can tell you this. I've done over 50 post offices in six states in the last year, and I haven't been trespassed from one. Yeah. Yep. Even when, even when the postmaster wanted me trespassed. Rogue Nation Audits. That's my YouTube channel, Rogue Nation Audits. But you can do the check. I mean, so what do you, what do, you do with the post office? Why do you put post office? What's that? Well, I, I go to every public building. Every public building. Police stations, jails. Um, I go by prisons. I go any, what, like, any what do you place. do that? What's, what, what, you, what, what's your piece on it? Um, what I'm doing is just exercising my rights in a way that is legal. Okay. And then I see if anybody is going to come up and try to harass me or violate my rights. And that's pretty much the whole story. Um, and, and some places it's great. And other places mm -hmm. like Gary and, and East Chicago, um, it's really terrible. Um, so it's just, you know, they, they call it an audit just to see if, if people will respect our rights. Yeah, that, that's it. Is this your job? Like you make money off of it? Or? Uh, I do make some money off of it, but I, I have a full-time job and I run my own business. So, you. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that do it. Said no? Nope. Yeah, okay. I totally purpose you're, what I'm you're, you're good to go, but as long as you don't go in there filming people. People's transactions. Transactions. Stuff I already like that. Yeah. Right. yeah. And, uh, and, and, and asking questions is what he said. Don't bother the patrons. Yeah, no, I, 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 I'm yeah. very quiet. So, he did what? He filmed my transaction. No, no. Oh, okay. Is there any way to get that footage? Because I don't want my legal matters. Okay, we'll get one. Do you, do you, can you make sure you. I, I, I could show you the video. Yes, I, I, when she was in line, see how they're facing there? Okay. That guy in the pink, I was facing this way, and she was on the back to me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I didn't see you. So, but that's fine. He's good as long as he, he said he, it's because it's like a public place. Yeah. He said it's like being at Disney. And yeah, I do that. So. As long as you don't go up there in filming transactions or other one? interacting with people, is what he said. Yeah. And that was the guy that's a regional guy, Ed Sinabari. Okay, there she is right there. Okay, we're gonna fast forward a little bit because she's not to her transaction yet. Okay, now I'm in line there. I'm facing this way. You should not get any transaction. You want to come look too, hon? You can. I don't mind. I, I don't mind. I didn't. I didn't get you. That I don't want to be on. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate you. your freedom and your right, and I'm not against that, and I'm with everything, but I just don't want to be on camera, and I don't want to be online. You're not. Yeah, you're, you're fine. Because we were outside, and we, the, had a, we had a conversation on here as well, of me asking you to not record me. Well, right, now, so, now I didn't get the transactions, mm -hmm. but, but and, and, and he'll talk to you as well if you'd like, but just so you know, when we're in public, we have no expectation of privacy, mm -hmm. so... Yeah. It doesn't matter. Anywhere the public's alive. As long as I'm going to make sure he's in the front row. Yeah. And again, she's a couple here in front of me. Yeah, I mean, I whispered to the counter, but I don't know also what he has on video of me as well. And her, her transactions are already done. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, the whole time I'm facing this way specifically. The postmaster said you didn't reach good. Yeah. Just please don't harass the customers. No, no, I won't. Take care, bud. Thanks, guys. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you. Sorry about that. All right, guys. Uh, sir, last, last, last spot. Thank you. Thank you, guys.
Thanks, guys. Take care, bud. You too, man. All right, guys, United States Post Office, St. Cloud. Power does what it wants, and now they're just more naked about it. Now they just put it right out front and say, "This is this is what we're doing to you, folks."